Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to Ask Golf on that channel. So welcome to the video comparison we're going to be doing between the Mizuno JPX923 Tour against the Shrixen ZX7. Now these are fairly close to the same design, effectively for the same kind of golfer. We've got a little bit of help within the JPX923. We have the uh, V chassis that's in there, which will protect uh, against slight toe hits, etc. And then for a much more pleasing sound, and um, with the sound side of things feel, it's got the copper underlays, the very first JPX Tour model that has got the copper. In the Shrixen, we have the progressive grooves between the, I think it's four to seven and eight to pitch and wedge and stuff, they just change shape and depth, etc. You've got the sole, the VT sole, which is there for, effectively it's there for help when it comes to you hitting it slightly heavy. Um, and then it has got the pure frame, which is different to the ZX5, the main frame. That's more for speed, etc. This is more there for consistency and feel. So, um, right, let's go get on a hole. Let's go swing these around sort of the high 80s ish because these are the player sector and generally speaking with the player sector you're going to see people in and around the higher swing speeds again that's not an absolute it's just a generalization so let's go get on a hole let's go give these a test and see which one of these two are better okay so we have the simulator on we have at linfield national hole three it's a par three of 164 yards right so let's go do the let's go do the jpx 923 tour first let's pop the zx7 down there so very very quickly looks wise on this thing this effectively is a blade the back there is a cavity although that's the smallest cavity i've ever really seen you have got lovely thin top lines on there very very nicely thin sole thicknesses again nice and thin blade lengths nice and small it is effectively a blade it just has the looks a little bit more help than a blade although not much more. Has got a copper in there, so I'm expecting it to feel quite nice, as long as I do a half decent job of hitting the middle, that is. There we go. That's my little fade today. <laughs> got the pushes. Four mil low, two mil hill, so that's not too bad whatsoever. And yeah, path 1.8 from the inside, and then uh, face path one open. That's why a little pushy i mean again we're talking 35 yards in the air 50 degrees descent angle it's on the green you're winning anytime you hit the green on any par three like this you are winning so feel wise you've got the copper under the underlay in there and it distinctly makes the different feel going from a 919 a 900 921 923 the tour yeah, distinctly feel the difference. It's nicer, it's softer, it's quieter, it's more of a soft thud. Now that's a bit more of a brave line. Very much so a brave line. Flying really well. 1.33 efficiency, I saw that there. Path 1.1 from the inside, face to path 0 0.3. Five mil low, two mil hill, just decent hit. 35 yards in the air. 49.4 degrees descent angle at 166 you just can't complain there's nothing you can really complain about i really do like the 923 tour i will be honest when it comes to the 919 tours when it comes to 921 tours i really didn't see the point they really didn't offer that much in the way of help and they didn't feel the same as the copper underlaid mp or mizuno pro so for me they kind of just sat out there not doing much but since they put copper on yeah i really can see this now as a viable option i still don't understand why it says jpx on it i'll be honest because this is effectively a mizuno pro this is a player sign not necessarily a jpx just nice it is just nice really can't complain with any part of this golf club this is going to be for the player yes it is it's going to be for the person who can strike it fairly well four mil low two mil heel path slightly cross face slightly open 35 yards in the air 50 degrees ascent angle it's eight feet from the pin it's just a good shot with a good golf club now if you're going to spray all over the face would i think about using a tour absolutely not there are other golf clubs out there if you want forgiveness but if you strike it fairly well, and you can get away with more than you think, remember guys, when it comes to the end of the video, I will be doing my forgiveness testing 
against both of these to see which one wins when you hit it, say from the heels, from the toe, from low and stuff like that, and see which one is more forgiving than the other for the people who wanna know about forgiveness. Right, so let's go flick over to the ZX7 and see how well that does. Data set now changed, we have a yellow line, I think it is, basically just to signify I've got the ZX7 in my hand. Now, it does look slightly different to that of the tool. This has a bigger undercut cavity. This looks much more like the ZX5 than it does its sleeker brother, the Forge Blade. Top lines though, the interesting one I'll say on the top line, of course, this is gonna be close and tight. Uh, ZX7 is bigger, the Tor has got a thinner top line. Uh, sole thicknesses, you can see the V-sole um, distinctly, obviously on the ZX7, different to the more flatter sole of the 923 Tor, but this is fractionally bigger, but it's fractions, it's tiny. And then blade lengths, there's not much in it whatsoever. It's just the ZX7's got a fraction thicker, bigger looks. Some people like the looks, looks of a smaller blade. There you go, Tor, if you want something a little bit more confidence inspiring, there you go. ZX7, right, let's go give us a hit. Same golf club, same hole, just different golf club. Let's go see how this one feels. Oh, that's me, that's not the golf club. That's very, very, very close to going over. Look at that. Woof. 90 miles an hour swing, we are going 35 yards in the air, 49 degrees of center angle, very, very good. Slightly drawy dynamics. I mean, it's the first one I've got one degree closed, but again, it's getting close to uh, the left edge. But it's carrying, look at 172. It's got to be because of the spin. Could have been a freak shot, so let's go hit it again to see if uh, it is 11 mil heel, two mil low. That's done exceptionally well for 11 mil heel. 11 mil heel. Now I have got the heels today as a little bit of a pattern. Again, that's gonna be, no, that's fine. I thought for a second that was gonna turn. Just thinking about, look at that go. Good strike, good dynamics, 36 yards in the air and 49 degrees ascent angle. So stopping on any green. Now, okay, we are two degrees stronger. In the ZX7, it's 32 degrees. When it comes to JPX 923 Tor, it's 34. So the Tors are much so down the bladed Mizuno Pro, traditionally lofted idea, where these ones are designed to blend between the pure on blade at 34 degrees, and then you've got obviously the ZX5, ZX4. There's a family and they're trying to blend. When it comes to JPX, you can cross family because obviously you've got JPX and MP. But this will have the advantage, slightly lower spin, and of course we are talking about slightly lower loft because it is two degrees less loft. Now, so when it comes to the testing or full testing, I, I expect these ones to go further. Is it as soft as the JPX 923 Tor? No. But by that mean, it's by no means in any way uh, harsh or clicky or anything else. It's still a thud. I'm being very, very critiquey with it. But I mean, if you want ultimate softness, well, then you go down the JPX 923 Tor route. If you want something which is nearly as soft, <laughs> I mean, it's just so close for the people that care about feel. It's just absolutely flying. <laughs> Spin rate is lower. See, I was getting a few good to strike, two mil toe, zero mil low, 36 yards in the air, 49 degrees ascent angle, good delivery. Um, it's just going. But backspin is at 5.8, so it is what we would see as lower than the JPX 923 Tor, although it will be because it's two degrees stronger. I was delivering 26 degrees of loft on that one. Again, when it comes to the 923 Tor, I wouldn't be surprised, can't remember now, obviously that's before this. So if I was delivering around about the 29s, so within reason, one degree, that's, the, uh, that's what's happening. We're getting more distance out of this one because of the loft that you've got difference between these two but it's still going up in the air really well 36 yards in the air and 49 degrees ascent angle that is going to match directly up against this so what will be interesting to see after we hit these a load of times just performance wise hit them the same speed do one does one go further than the other but does it do it on the basis of doing it as free distance what i mean by that is if we can get the same speed 
and it goes further and it peaks up as the same height and it descends at the same amount is one, I've got free distance over the other and we'll do some forgiveness testing as well, whack it all over the face and see which one is more forgiving than the other. Okay guys, to save this being a video marathon, I've decided to pop this one into two parts. For the guys that have just watched this, you can click by the side of me to get to part two. For the guys that can't see any boxes by the side of me because you're watching on TV or something like that, you can go on my channel and it will be the next one on the video list. Let's go have a look at part two and see if there's a winner between the performance and the forgiveness.